Welcome back to Leftovers with Annie. I am Annie, your host. And remember, each week I receive a mystery product in this bag that I need to figure out how to use at home. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so you're not missing out on any of our leftover projects. Let's see what's in the bag this week. We've got Clark and Kensington paint. I came across this hot trend where you apply paint using a kitchen sponge, but it's not your typical 90s sponge wall. Sorry, mom. But this technique brings a unique look to any wall just by using the sponge. I really hope this paint color will work because I have family coming over and I'd love to redo my front foyer. It says the color is bone white, which will, I think will look perfect for my front foyer to try out this sponge technique. Let's take a look. This is my favorite part. This creamy white will be awesome. I can't wait to try this. Let's go grab a clean kitchen sponge and I'll meet you in my foyer. This is my entryway and I can't wait to show you the sponge technique using this sponge. The color on the wall is vanilla chai and I have just enough leftover bone white to make this a beautiful accent. Now let's prep and get started. I am doing a herringbone pattern with this sponge. However, you can be as creative as you'd like by using the long or the short end of this sponge to make an organic pattern on your wall. Start by placing painter's tape vertically to the wall in the width that fits your wall size the best. For this project, I'm doing a herringbone design. So I'm gonna start my painting project at the bottom because it's easier to see at eye level. Just remember though, since we're starting at the bottom, you don't wanna lean into the paint when you're reaching far above. Don't load your sponge too much with paint or you're gonna get drips. What I like about this project is it's one coat and it totally transforms the wall. Don't worry about your sponge and it being even. The best part of the wall is making it a little more organic and it's hand done by you. I found it easier to do one column at a time using my sponge because it was easy to stay consistent with the angle. That technique was so easy and I used all my leftover paint. Everyone loved it, even my mom. As always, if you do this project at home, I'd love to see it. So tag us using the hashtag, The Hopeful Place. Make sure you stick around to watch the project I did on mason jarlets. See you next week. Thanks for watching.